Hi, after escaping my prison cell in Packing the Bike Part 3, I'm now on the run and must blend in as quick as possible. The same goes for my touring bike. In this video, I'll show you how I've changed my bike's colours and blended it in to create a new camouflage look. Look! I can't see a thing! Until now, my touring bike was in a basic red and black colour scheme. This will now change. I decided to change my bike's colours and make it more exciting and blend it in with the surrounding bush when camping stealthily. I started by spraying my front and rear mudguards, then painted the wheels and ended up spray painting the bike frame. Things got pretty serious when I painted my helmet green and sprayed all my packs and panniers in the matching green colour scheme. And here it is. The only thing now is to change the old red drink bottles into new green ones. After creating touring bike sacrilege, I needed to confess my sin, so I went to churches. No, not that type of churches, you fool. But this type of churches. This is a fantastic place, and it's been Australia's best known military store since 1946. It's in Townsville, the garrison city, and there you will find everything you need. Hi, welcome to churches. It's run by Nicole, and the staff are very friendly at helping you with all your needs. And of course, for helping me dress up like a soldier. It was there I bought a total of 18 things. These include a chest harness and shirt, a belt holder and belt, two large pouches, five medium pouches, a water bottle and pouch, as well as a radio, first aid and Swiss army knife pouches, plus an assortment of ropes and camouflage paint to make this film. The thing I love about the new Multicam design is that the system can be adapted for each piece of equipment and everything has a perfect fit. This makes it an excellent choice for storing all my equipment needs when touring around Australia. So if you ever go to Townsville, I strongly recommend you go to churches, army and outdoors and have a good look. Look! I still can't see anything. And finally, here it is. But wait a minute, two things are missing. One is my self-sewn high-vis fluorescent yellow reflectors that go at the front and back of the bike. And the other is to get all artistic with some camouflage paints from Tamiya. I then blended the colours off my bike with a new multicam look. Even my Helionox chair didn't escape my artistic lunacy. And now I'm sitting pretty. Lights off and action! In total darkness, watching the stars at night. Oh wow, it's so full of stars. And cut. So there you have it. This was a fun video I made about painting my bike and dressing up like a soldier. So I hope you like it. In my next video, Tools and Spare Parts Part 7, I will show you the tools and spare parts I have with me as I travel around Australia. So don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my journey and adventure. So until then, it's old fitters and from me, and goodbye from Cycling Adventure Studios. Lights off and action.